Hey everybody and thanks for watching Police Tube right here on YouTube. I have a Jeremy DeWitt video today, but I'm going to start it off with Nor Salman and Omar Mateen. You may remember Omar because he was the Orlando nightclub shooter and Nor Salman was his wife, his widow. I don't know too much about what happened here, but I did, did just read something interesting that Jennifer told Jeremy in their text messages. Here it is, SF Ops, and this is real world police uh, that put this out, by the way. So thanks to them for highlighting this particular text message. Um, actually, they highlighted a whole bunch of text messages, and I picked up on this one. Jennifer texted Jeremy on Friday, March 30th, saying that Nor Salman was found not guilty on both charges. Wow. And Jeremy rep re replied, thank God. So he was very happy about that. Why would he be very happy about that? What happened with Nor Salman? Some of you already know. Um, I just looked it up and figured it out, got out my Google phone. So apparently Nor Salman had basically info that Omar was going to go do something bad. Like she was going to, she knew that something was up and she basically didn't say anything or something like that. It says here that after an hour, uh, after about an hour after Omar left home preparing for the uh, shooting that he was about to do, Nor Salman sent him a text and it suggested what he should say if his mother invited him over to observe Ramadan. Uh, of course, we all know what that is. It explains. Um, prosecutors were saying that this text was intended as a cover story in case someone found out what he had planned to do. Um, her lawyers, Nor's lawyers, say that this was just an innocent message. So one of the central questions in Sol Nor Salman's trial was whether she knew or helped her husband plan the attack. Now, there's a lot more to this story, but what's important here is that Jeremy said, thank God she was found not guilty. I don't know. I don't know what that exactly means, but I have to think that he's possibly relating this to his own life because for the husband to go out and do something alone, as a lone shooter, that's one thing. But if she knew about it or was involved in any way, then that's a criminal conspiracy and she's going to go to jail as well. Jeremy's life in Jeremy's life he's been accused of going out and doing these things by himself but if his wife or his mother is found to be involved or have intimate knowledge of what's going on and then it'll be a criminal conspiracy that's tying in members of his family to him that would be terrible so for Nor Salman to be found not guilty thank God for him because that shows that his family may also not be charged. Now, we know that his family was intimately involved in his business. You know, all the cars were insured under his wife's name. It's not like she didn't know about that. She knew about it. Uh, the, the security company and a bunch of businesses were set up under his other mother's name. Uh, what's his other's mom's name? Oh, yeah, Leandra. She has a bunch of business uh, connections with Jeremy as well. And Jeremy's mother, Ursula, you know, the, Ursula and Leandra, they're married. Ursula, she has a bunch of knowledge about what Jeremy's doing as well. So does his brother, Dylan Volt. So it's very important to Jeremy that he go, if he goes down, he goes down alone. Uh, Rania, he, uh, he doesn't want her involved. Leandra, she, he doesn't want her involved. Ursula, he doesn't want her involved. And Dylan, I mean, he doesn't really care about Dylan, but, you know, for all intents and purposes, he doesn't want him involved either. Dylan's still concussed. For some reason, you know, he has a brain damage, but nobody's recognizing it yet. Everybody's just attributing his brain damage to him smoking too much pot. Pretty soon they'll connect it to these motorcycle accidents that, you know, he's been in with Jeremy, where Jeremy's refused care. So I don't really know exactly what went on with Nor Salman, what she knew or didn't know. So I'm not making any comment on that, but I am commenting on Jeremy DeWitt's state of mind and why he was voting for this because he wants to go down as a lone wolf if anything and he definitely doesn't want anybody else that he loves involved with his criminal conspiracies trying to protect the people that he loves and cares about so anyway that's just my thought on Jeremy DeWitt and this text message today I appreciate real world police for putting out these text messages so thanks for watching and as always have yourself a great day